Hey, do you actually really want to know what makes a prepper? Why are some preppers seem like they're so far advanced than you are? Well, today's video is on the secrets to being a successful prepper. And I hope that everybody gets a little bit of information out of this on the secrets on behind the scenes of what really goes on in the prepper world. So we're gonna start right off. You have to been able to adapt to new ideas and to new ways of thinking. So adapting to new ideas and stuff, you know, Everything is all changing. Everything is evolving as we're going along in time here, folks. The way that people used to do it even 25, 50 years ago is totally different than some of the ways we do things now. Now, we still can use those ways. I'm not saying that. But you have to be able to adapt to the new ideas and the new ways of thinking that are behind all the new technology and everything that's coming out to make prepping more successful for you and your family. You also have to be able to be open-minded about new products and ways of prepping. There's so many new products and everything that are out there and they're hitting the shelves on a daily basis. Uh, you see all types of prepping channels and survival channels and everything else. They're all doing reviews on all these new cool products and everything. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are just, eh, you know. But, you have to be able to have an open mind on what that product is and how it can serve you and if it's in your budget because some things are just way out of most people's budgets. The new ways of prepping, you know, those are constantly changing too. People are coming up with a lot of great ideas. So the secrets behind being a successful prepper is really being able to adapt to the whole prepping community and what is taking place. You also have to, if you really want to know some of the behind the secrets of being a prepper, a successful prepper that is, you've got to be constantly aware of your surroundings and what is changing. All right, a lot of the real serious hardcore preppers and everything else that have been out there doing, doing a lot of this for years and years, they know exactly what is going on around their whole area, around their homestead, around their home. Um, they know if things are changing on their way to work. They notice this is moving in or this place closed and, you know, all this type of stuff. You're always aware of your surroundings, okay? And this way here, it makes it better for you to adapt to the changing conditions that are taking place around you, your homestead, your home, wherever you may live, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to be aware of what is changing. Another way to be a successful prepper would be having a plan and you also have to know how to execute it in a timely manner. So having a plan is something that I'm big on. I've talked about it a lot on my channel, a lot of my videos. I've done videos on planning and having a planner, a journal, whatever it may be, so that you have something to fall back on an emergency type situation. Because let's face it, folks, when the shit hits the fan and every thing starts going down and all of a sudden you got to leave or you got to do this or you got to do that, you got to have a plan and it'd be better for it to be written down and this way here, you know how to execute it. You check off the boxes as you're loading your vehicle or you're, you're sealing up your home or whatever it may be, making sure that you have your ice, you have your battery banks are charged, you know, you have gas for your generator, you have propane to cook with, so on and so forth. But having a plan and knowing how to execute it is key to being a successful prepper. Another way is, is you're always rotating your stock, your food and your supplies. Now, a lot of people think you just have to rotate, rotate your food, all right? Which is true, you have to rotate your food, but you need to rotate all your other supplies also. Because what happens is, folks, you know, you're buying whatever it may be, if it's uh, medical supplies, if it's uh, shampoo, whatever, 
besides food. You know, it all has an expiration date. And some of that stuff may not be too good after that date, unlike some of the food products. So you want to make sure that you're rotating your stock, all of it. Not just your food, but all your supplies. And this way here, you constantly are putting in new and using the old. You know, it's just a way of thinking. You also have to know where and how to get the best deals on all your supplies. Now, a lot of preppers and stuff, you know, they watch a lot of sales. If you notice on a lot of channels, they'll come on and they'll tell you that they run across a good sale. They'll put a post in their community link or something. They'll say, hey, I saw this at BJ's. Hey, I saw this on Amazon. Hey, I saw this at Costco. They're always paying attention to all the sales at every retail market that they go to for their supplies. And a lot of them pass on those deals to you so that you can go and get those deals also. Now, you have to be able to do this yourself and know how to get the best deals on the supplies that you need for you and your family in a timely manner and to make sure that you are ready for whatever comes your way, whether it be a hurricane, pandemic, tornadoes, floods, earthquakes, fires, blizzards, tsunamis, whatever it may be. Everybody has to deal with something. But the secrets to being a successful prepper were just what I covered. And one of the biggest secrets is you have to be able to adapt to the changing conditions and pay attention to your surroundings and making sure that you have a plan you're always rotating your stock, food and supplies, and know where to get all those great deals at. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the secrets to being a successful prepper. I hope it helps you out. Hope it puts a little food for thought, if you would say. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.